ลกุมเป็นมอร์นิ่งสวัสดีครับ Apologies for my late arrival as usual Air Asia flights are always delayed <laughs> Unfortunately I was not able to make it yesterday due to some urgent matters Lovely to see you all here and welcome to this year's uh, Global News Forum and to follow up uh, uh, for, of, of a wonderful speech by Abhisit it's very difficult because he has put some very important points about the future of news and the role of journalism. This, is, this year especially is a remarkable and important year for us. We are celebrating the 60th anniversary of Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union, also the 40th anniversary of Asia Vision, our international news exchange. So it's an occasion to celebrate the foresight and wisdom of the founding members their vision, their commitment, and to applaud those who have contributed to bring us here on both these platforms. It is also a time to look forward and move forward, just as we have adapted to the changes in technology, platforms, audience demand, and audience expectation for the past 60 years. We need to keep the momentum and keep moving forward. More change is coming and it would appear that the pace of change is faster than ever. The media landscape is changing at a dizzying, dizzying pace. The way that we consume information, the platforms we use, and the very definition of news itself is under a flux. This rapid revolution or an evolution presents both challenges and opportunities for journalists, the broadcasters, and also the audiences themselves. We are living in a time where our work as trusted news sources and credible news authorities are being challenged to its core. We are living in a time where gossip is making headlines, where opinions are running the news. Unfortunately, social media seems to be running the show and the agenda, and without realizing, we are being dragged into it. We need to ask ourselves, how can we ensure the reliable news sources that we have been to provide high quality journalism and it thrives in the digital age? How can we serve our audiences and provide them the news they need while making the trust and maintaining, while make, maintaining the trust we have built across over the years? And most importantly, how can we continue to play a vital role in informing and empowering our communities while maintaining our credibility and integrity. In this context, I commend and uh, introduce the Future of News report, which you have probably seen on your tables. This is the work of our members and our Asia Vision team to bring to you uh, some great insights and ideas from our members. It celebrates the work and wisdom of some of the Asia-Pacific region's best thought leaders, as well as the views of international partners and leading academics. The report also includes the results of our Future of News survey, which gives a lot of insight on how our perception as, or, of Future of News looks like. Let me take this opportunity to thank our host, Thai PBS, for the for their wonderful support and the arrangements for this meeting. I would also like to thank our team, Deborah and her team, for putting together a wonderful program for, for this uh, day and challenging the topics that are relevant to future of news. Once again, thank you and my apologies for being late. Enjoy the topics. Please be interactive. We have wonderful speakers, wonderful sessions. Uh, I think future of news, and you can see from the image there, there's a lot of artificial intelligence going to be discussed, and how it's affecting our societies and our views and broadcasters themselves are going to be discussed. So be part of the discussions, learn from each other. The reason why we arrange these kind of meetings and forums is to bring like-minded colleagues together so that they can exchange ideas and learn from each other. Thank you again, and have a wonderful time. Thank you very much.